So guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, do magic, moku, let's hold it. Chilling with the miss something Z. Now, but I'm Mr. Vasil, we're going to I am I born a Banton, the baddest. I've been traveling across Uganda for several years. However, there are places in this beautiful country that I've never been to. Places that even the traditional media never gets the opportunity to show you. The cows you're seeing right behind me are grazing alongside Lake Albert and when you cross to the other end is that the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Democratic Republic of Congo was admitted as a member of the East African community on the 29th of March 2022, increasing the total number of states to seven. In this video, I visit a small farm in a Ugandan village called Rukarama, where I find some of the most hardworking and happiest young men. Oh, look at how beautiful this place is. The views from here, the freshness, the cows, the goats look super, super healthy. The beauty is mind-blowing. Yeah, so right behind me is the accommodation for the guys that work on the farm and I found it really interesting so I just want to go and check in and see how it looks on the inside. The grass thatched house are like the original kinds of housing in the African traditional society and uh, this right here is just what we want to check out and see. Welcome to the residence uh, at the farm and this is uh, beautiful on the inside, very low but it is more like a, a two bedroom apartment. Right here where I am is the sitting room and uh, right in there is the bedroom. You can see the man of the house is right there chilling. What's up guy? Uh, I like that they have a, a good height here on the wall as decoration. So right now it's like breakfast time at the farm and what these guys have for breakfast is a very healthy diet. That's a porridge with a lot of milk. This is all, yeah. <laughs> this is all mine. Eh? Yeah, yeah, look at all this. Mmm, tasty. Man, these guys live a very healthy lifestyle. No sugar, but a lovely breakfast. This is the, you know, the Nkoni, the traditional name for the stick held by the cattle keepers. And as you're having your breakfast right here at the farm, you can take a look at what your cows are eating. Mm. As a content creator living in the city, I'm always looking out for investment opportunities and ideas when I travel to places like this with plenty of resources. Now after spending some time on this farm, I made up my mind to save money and buy a cow as an investment. <laughs> So one of the challenges that uh, the farmers in this area have told me is that uh, the neighboring forest and uh, when the goats have kids, sometimes the baboons come from the forest to steal the kids. Now I've heard sounds of the baboons and the guys have said they can take me there to go and see uh, the baboons. That's a big challenge to these guys in this community. <laughs> there you see the goats so we just want to check get in and see how it looks on this side the reason they keep them in here until around uh, midday or afternoon the goats can go grazing next to the forest or the trees they become easy prey for the baboons so they keep them in here until in the afternoon when the baboons have gone far away from the grazing ground because they do a free range kind of uh, feeding system because of the plenty of grass and plenty of land very very uh, good environment i see there is wood for them uh, to step on so they don't directly step on the ground and their litter is kind of goes down to the ground so they're kind of in a very dry and uh, safe environment and yeah it looks good I've been told that to go and see the baboons we need some energy because we're kind of going to be doing a baboon trekking activity which is very rare most of the times guys do chimp trekking and gorilla trekking but now we're going to be going baboon trekking so I just needed uh, some of this porridge to get some uh, energy and then we head off to the baboon trekking experience Right now I'm in the kraal for the cows. Looks like this farm really gets new cows on either monthly or every couple of weeks. This one mother that has just stayed here since morning, uh, she hasn't left her cow. I think she's very concerned being that uh, they just gave birth to her like a couple of days ago. And it's been interesting to see how uh, the mother is connected or bonded to the calf. Just like we see human mothers never want to leave their children. So 
once in a while the guys at the farm head out just to chase the baboons and that's what we're actually going for. Yeah, so we've just been hiking through the valleys and climbing the hills. Very, very beautiful experience. Work out enough for me for a whole week. And uh, we've just come to this very beautiful place where there are lots of stones sloping down and showing you uh, the landing site. If you can look uh, back there, uh, the point where we came from, we came from right over there and we've been walking for like uh, close to 30 minutes, a long distance, uh, but it's beautiful and worth every effort. I just love how I feel being in this part of the country. Man, this is a very, very tough hike. So after enjoying the views, we had to like get a shorter cut, but the shorter cut is steep. Yeah, it's worth the experience though. It's tough on the body, but I love it because man, this makes my job more interesting. I don't need to pay for a gym because I get all the services while doing my work. So our search for the baboons has really not gone so well, however, we've enjoyed the hike and the views and I was moving up and exhausted. The guys tell me that this is food, uh, baboon's favorite food, and they tell me it's also tasty for the human being, so they told me to test it, uh, test it. So I want to test uh, baboon food. Yeah, it's sweet. And for him, you see the style, how fast he is, just like the original. Uh -huh. See even the muscle, I think it helps you get muscles like his. So guys, after a very busy morning session, it's now afternoon and uh, the weather has all turned right out there. It's raining, but then I'm also back uh, in the shelter and I'm also being treated to a very healthy meal that the guys commonly have here. And this is matoke and eggplants. Really healthy. Uh, so let's have lunch and pray that the weather gets better so that I can continue filming the rest of the video. <laughs> day at the farm with the very amazing people and uh, I just want each one of them to say hi to you and if you've not subscribed to the channel make sure that you subscribe if it's your first time here thank you so much for watching this video uh, you could leave a comment if you like this kind of video <laughs> Yeah man, I and I go on a band on the hardest. We are here at the top shot with your yard at the farm. What's up, man? I'm going to start the farm, I'm going to start the farm, I'm going to start the farm, I'm going to start the farm. I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, 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 I'm a daughter. Okay, drum magi moku lesoli lakini mama gi sura lakini magi we gere gere dia ademar dia. Yo, bro, I love that guy's swag. I love the attitude, man. It's massive. So let's go to the to the top ranking officer right over here. Yeah, man, this is just Jamaica, the young dancer, a graduate king from a graduate camp. Live at Avalon Entertainment and Yakashozu. We're a farm. We're chilling with Mr. Singzi. Yeah, man, kaboom. Rastafari. Subscribe to Mr. Singzi's YouTube channel and like and comment. Man, this is marvelous. Suspended day chilling, man. The vibe has been so great. Now, big up yourself, Mr. Singzi. Yeah, man. Big up on yourself, man. Blessing, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you love the vibe in this video. Catch you in the next one. Bye.